Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Well, you know, Pinterest has given us lots and lots of great ideas. And I do a summer camp every year and I started a Pinterest board for my summer camp. And one of the things that I found that I just absolutely fell in love with was this jellyfish in a bottle. Let me show it to you. I hope you can see it. Can you see the jellyfish in the bottle? It's really pretty extraordinary when you see it close up. I hope you can see it on the camera. And you can use a big bottle like this. The longer the better. But you can also use a little one. It works just as well as you can see. So I'm going to teach you how to make a jellyfish in a bottle. Now for this you are going to need a bottle of water and you're going to want to remove the label as best you can. You might need to use a little Goo Gone or some kind of product like that to just get the um, the label sticker part off, but you want it to be nice and clear. Now for this project, originally they said to use like, um, like a, a thin bag, like a, a bag that you would put vegetables in that you would get from the supermarket. That's what they used and they used the very end corner of it. But for me, what I discovered when working with my summer camp kids was that these, these food handler gloves, that are these gloves that are made out of like a poly plastic. These worked really, really well for me. And all you're going to do is open it up like that and you can see it's got individual little jellyfish right there. So you're only going to need one finger per jellyfish, which means if you've got a bunch of kids, these are great and economical because you can get five jellyfish out of each one. You are going to need for this project very, very, very good scissors. You're going to need very sharp scissors. You're going to need some food coloring. And in this case, what I've got is a little bottle of water that has one of these little nipple tops. This is really, really important. If you can get one of these, this will help make your project much easier. And then you're going to need a rubber band. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the thumb off here. And I'm just going to cut it down, straight down from the thumb from that little joint where it goes into the rest of the fingers. And then I'm just going to cut it away from the rest of the glove. Now, I'm going to open it up. And I'm actually going to give it a little blow like that. Blow into it. And now what I'm going to do is take my water bottle and I'm going to make sure it's shut. And now that this is open, I'm going to put it over top of my water bottle. And with my little rubber bands here, I'm just going to secure the top. Now I'm not going to secure it really secure. I'm just going to secure it around twice. And I want to have a little bit of it pooched out. See how it's pooched out like that? Okay, now I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to open the cap. And I'm just going to put a couple drops of water in here like that. And now I'm going to slip it off. And I'm going to blow a little bit of air in here. And I'm going to try to trap that air inside. Okay, now I'm going to take my rubber band and twist it. And you can just see there's just, it doesn't need to have much air in there, but you're going to see there's a tiny bit of air in there. Okay, and I'm going to keep twisting and around until I get that nice and secure. Now, can you see that? There's a little teeny bubble of air inside there, and that's important. I'm just going to fix my rubber band here. That's really important because that's what's going to make your jellyfish float. Okay, now I am going to make the frondies. The more delicate and, and wavy and twisty you can make the frondies, the better. And that's why you want these really sharp scissors. Now, do be careful when you're using sharp scissors. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start to shred this plastic bag, cutting it into tiny, tiny, thin strips. Now, if you lose some, don't worry because, you know, the more varied and ragged this is, the better. There we go. You really don't want any big pieces, though. You want it to be as thin as possible. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to set them off to the side for just a second. Now I'm going to take my water. Now this water bottle is just basically a brand new water bottle. This is how high you want the water to be in here. See how there's a little bit of air in here? That's about what you want. 
I'm going to add a few drops of food coloring. Just two. I'm going to put the lid on. Kids love this part where you watch the water turn colors. I love this part too. And just turn it upside down so it mixes. And then you're going to open it up and you're going to take your little jellyfish, put his head in, and stick all of his frondy little legs in. Now, this is really super important, and I know this sounds crazy, but make sure that you get all the frondy legs down in because if you <laughs> accidentally get them in the cap and lock them, your jellyfish is basically going to be stuck at the top. You know, it's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to be like stuck because it'll be in the mouth of the bottle. There we go. I mean, if you want to, you can even use something like scissors and just poke it down. And now I'm just going to put the lid on. Make sure you put this on really nice and tight. If you're nervous about water leakage, you could always uh, put some duct tape around here. Keep it nice and secure. And now, one jellyfish. Isn't that cool? It's part science, part craft, 100% fun. For more great ideas that you can do at home, in your kitchen, or at school, check us out at sophie-world.com.